if you want to be successful, here's the thing you have to do. You have to jump. There is no way around it. You have to jump. Every successful person has jumped. You got to jump. You got to take a leap of faith. You got to dash off that cliff and you got to jump out there as far as you can. Now, a lot of times you stand on the cliff of life and you see other people soaring by, gliding down like a bird flying through the air. You know, they going over to the south of France. You see them on a boat somewhere. You see their family vacationing here, their family vacationing there. You see them dressing like this. You see them in New York, then you see them in London. They flying by. You know why? It's because they parachute open. But the only way to get your parachute to open so you can soar, you got to jump. Now here's the problem. Here's the problem, my friends. When you jump, I can assure you one thing. You listening? I promise you this. Your parachute will not open right away. No. That's the fear part. I promise you your parachute will not open right away. You're gonna hit them sides and them rocks. You're gonna tear your back out on them cliffs. You're gonna, you're gonna cut yourself. You're gonna get wounded. You're gonna get some tears and stuff like that. But eventually, the parachute will open and you'll be sold. But here's the other caveat. Let me teach you this right here. If you do not jump, I promise you one thing. Your parachute will never open. So you're safe, but you'll never sold. You got to jump. A lot of times people believe in certain things, but they keep to themselves. They don't put it out there. You truly believe in it. If you become vocal with it, you are creating that law of attraction and it will <clears throat> become reality. I'm a professional MMA fighter with a record of four and one. Um, I'm an up and coming fighter and without a doubt, you will see me on the UFC in the, in the near future, without a doubt. If you can see it here, and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. The number one thing is you have to have a very clear vision, a very clear goal of where you want to go, because only then you will get there. Uh, you can have the best airplane or the best ship in the world, but if the captain doesn't know where to go, he will just drift around. If the pilot does not know where to go, he will just drift around with his plane. So it's, I think the key thing is that we know where we are going and that you're very passionate about that. And you see it always in front of you, the goal. Nobody knows what you can do but you. Nobody can tell you. If I tell you all the people who told me I wasn't gonna act or sing or dance, or I wasn't good at it, or I should stop or I should quit, or even after I became famous, you know, for doing these things, you know, uh, I, would be, I would be locked in a house somewhere doing nothing. Um, the truth is, nobody knows what's inside of you. Only you know what's inside of you. Only you know what you can accomplish. If you're doing anything interesting in the world, you're gonna have critics. The only way, if you, if you absolutely can't tolerate critics, then don't do anything new or interesting. Don't listen to the naysayers, because there's always people out there that will tell you that you will not be able to do that, forget it, it's a stupid dream that you have, or a, a crazy vision of those. Don't listen to the naysayers. And you're at home watching, and you're being called weird, or you're being called different, or whatever the hell you're being called. I'm here tonight to tell you, your critics do not count. Their words will fade. You won't. The other thing that's important is, is that you got to shoot for the top. You got to go and really have big goals and think big because then you're going to get big. Then you're going to go and achieve big things. That is the most important thing. You know, we don't achieve big things by accident. Every challenge I take, I, I have a big vision. I, I put a lot of effort, a lot of sacrifice in things I do. It, if I don't do it, it means I don't believe in it. In this, I believe very strong, and I will not give up until I'm top of the world. So that's the way it works. You aim for the top, you don't aim for the second. Second place is the first place among the last ones, and that's not my target. If you feel you have something to give, if you feel that your particular talent is worth developing, is worth caring for, then there's nothing you can't achieve. If they can do it, I can do it. And that's the mentality. If somebody else can do it, you can do it. And I said to myself, I will do it and I will do it better.
That's the mentality. And I believe with the mentality is 50% of the success in what you're doing. People say you, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing, and it's totally true. And the reason is, uh, is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. It's really hard, and you have to do it over a sustained period of time. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, you don't really love it, uh, you're gonna give up. And that's what happens to most people, actually. If you really look at, 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 at the ones that uh, ended up you know, being successful, unquote, in the eyes of society and the ones that didn't, oftentimes it, it's the ones that are successful loved what they did so they could persevere when, you know, when it got really tough. And, and the ones that, that didn't love it quit because they're sane. Right? Who would want to put up with this stuff if you don't love it? So it's a lot of hard work, and, and it's a lot of worrying constantly. And uh, um, if you don't love it, you're going to fail. And you got to push your body. You got to overcome. It's like you're moving past a barrier, or move, moving a step forward. A lot of people just want to stop because they're dead tired, but you got to do that extra one. Cause that's when it, you improve. Um, if you think that you're going to go and accomplish something really special and be the best in anything in the world, and you think you can do it without working, you make a big mistake. Because no matter what I did, if it was in bodybuilding or in acting or if it was in, in, in the political arena, uh, it always took a lot, a lot of work. Work your butt off. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. I never wanted to lose a competition or lose an election because I didn't work hard enough. I always believed leaving no stone unturned. Muhammad Ali, one of my great heroes, had a great line in the 70s when he was asked, how many sit-ups do you do? He said, I don't count my sit-ups. I only start counting when it starts hurting. When I feel pain, that's when I start counting because that's when it really counts. That's what makes you a champion. That's the way it is with everything. No pain, no gain. Do you mean that the competition is not the reality? Listen, the work is behind the scenes. Competition is the easy part. <laughs> behind the scenes is where the work is done. And everything is done to, to get to that one race that you need to run. You know what you gotta do. Do it.